If you think the Kardashian drama is over, well, we are just getting started. My name is Rose and welcome back to my channel. Khloe Kardashian is under fire for reselling her daughter True Thompson's used kid clothes for hundreds of dollars on the family's online consignment shop. If you didn't know, the Kardashian Jenner have a clothing website called Kardashian Closet where they sell their second-hand clothing items. Why the Kardashians need to make a couple of bucks reselling their old clothes when they make millions elsewhere is beyond me. But regardless, they do it. Now, Khloe Kardashian is under fire for selling her three-year-old daughter's old clothes on the site for hundreds of dollars. For example, this silk and ostrich feather dress is being listed at $556, despite originally selling for $695, almost $600 to buy a dress that a little toddler has already worn. There are also Fendi Kids jeans for $270 and $495. And an Oscar Gelate renter dress for $395. Many of the children's items listed on the resale site are designer, which might explain why Chloe believes she can command such a high price for the clothing. But A. A child literally wore these clothes. B. Some of the clothing items are only slightly cheaper than their purchase price, which is not how thrifting works and they see there is a strong chance Chloe and True received these clothes for free from the designers and are now profiting from the gift. However, most egregious of all are a pair of unworn cut and jack tights being sold for $20 despite retailing for $6.99 at the target. Naturally, the internet was not having it. Some fans defended Chloe, claiming that Chloe will probably donate the money to charity, but that is not confirmed. There is absolutely nothing on the closet website stating that the funds from the clothing sales will be donated to charity. There's only a mention that the reselling old clothes promotes sustainability. The whole thing is wild and bizarre, but it's not like the Kardashians don't monetize most aspects of their life. As the old saying goes, this is super on brand for them. Sometimes I just don't understand these women. You are so rich and you came from, let us say middle class. The one not born rich that they don't know what poverty is or what striving is. Because if they were born rich, I don't think him could have done the sex step and all that kind of stuff would have led them to fame. So what does it take from them donating those kids to the unprivileged people? There are so many people in shelters, so many children in orphanage. Send the clothes to Africa. Send the clothes to all these other institutions. But why resell these clothes to get money from them? I understand some of you might say, yeah, yeah, it's their clothes, it's their money, they can do whatever they want with it. But how about helping the next person? Money is so sweet when you're sharing it with the unprivileged person. There is nothing that makes you feel good like helping somebody. And it doesn't mean that you have to go take a big chunk of your wealth and give, give it to people. But those little things that one does for another person is what makes you a better person. Just us as poor people, you pass a homeless person when you have like 10 bucks to buy, go buy your kids ice cream. And this homeless person tells you, I've not had lunch you take that 10 bucks or 5 bucks from that money and end up buying the kids sweets instead of ice cream and it makes you feel so good after doing that. You feel bad that yeah, you've taken away from your kids this thing they wanted to have on that day but by the end of the day the feeling that somebody was hungry and because of you they had a meal is so much 
refreshing and satisfying so giving these clothes to people who need them doesn't mean that I'm a poor person cannot have a fancy old designer cloth we used to buy designer clothes back in Africa designer used clothes actually back in Africa and we used to feel so good what is money for when you can't help another person tell me to.